I do have. Well, hello everyone. Well, thanks God, there's not a lot of people right here, so it will be easier for me to start. Uh, let me introduce you about the situation on social networks, uh, about social games market in Eastern Europe and mostly in Russia. Uh, a bit of my company and about our company, Adnaklasniki.ru, we right now we are number two in Russia and the Eastern European market we, with 32 million of daily active users. And in year 2010, we were acquired by DST Group, which is renamed of Mail.ru Group. And by recent research, we are the just number one gaming platform in Russia by AppData.ru. And to make things much more harder, I think this is a hashtag you can try to tweet. It's spelled Odnoklasniki. Well, these are the topics I would like to share about these numbers, games, and the challenges what lies ahead of us in some years and then some months. Uh, talking about the numbers, well, the social networks, in fact, is a huge influence on our, our lives. It doesn't depend on which region it is. If it started from 2009 in the region, it was just a tool, powerful tool to send a message to your friends, to your colleagues, and so on, and just share photos. Right now, it's a powerful tool to share information with an article you like. You can share this with your friends, with your open graph, with your graph, and then and maybe you like some thinking in, in a game, in a mobile game, on a web game. You can also just tell all your friends about it, just one click. And by the social networks audience in year 2009 was like only 25 million of monthly active users. And right now, more than 70 million of monthly active users have at least one account on local social networks, like Vcontact, Arnoklasniki.ru, and Mail.ru, and of course Facebook. And uh, if you aggregate so much people in one place, you have to provide a entertainment for them. And of course, the best entertainment in the world is the games. So that's a bit of market value of Russian social gaming. Uh, back in the year 2009, there was only one game called Lucky Farmer from iJet. Uh, it generated most of its revenue from the one social platform we contacted, just because the Adnan Klasnik and Mail.ru doesn't have any API at that moment. And there's a bunch of small flash games without any virality, without, without any news feed, without invites and requests and so on. And uh, when the Anna Klasniki produced the APIs, they introduced the API in the year 2010, market significantly started to grow. In uh, just in recent years, it, it, it grew up more than 10 times. And right now, we have more than 340 million of US dollars worth market, which is pretty much big. Well, take a look at the installs also. As I mentioned before, iJet had uh, 27 million of, tele, uh, uh, of installs in year 2009, and the small, uh, small companies had uh, Flash Games, and like Criara and Mail.ru had 70 million. Then the situation changed dramatically. In 2010, Criara had more than 100 million of installs just by our platform introduced the distribution network, introduced the API, and Mail.ru and iJet also gained significant amount of installs. But in 2011, the situation also changed quite a lot because uh, the market is so fast and it's growing very fast and the situation is changing so quickly and the iJet just gone bankrupt and created separated into two companies, Apitech and the Social Quantum, also with significant numbers of installs. And the only company who started in the year 2009 survived till, till year 2011. Don't know about the year 2012, we will see. Uh, two leaders we contacted at Nadnoklasniki have more than one billion of installs. So, and also Moi Miro, my mail.ru, also have significant amount of installations. And what I am proud of that Anna Klasniki have right now more installs than in the number one platform in Russia. We have we passed them this summer. But uh, 
installations is not the fact what we can see that about measurement of the best games uh, on the platform. I think it's much more interesting to, to see the daily active users of these games for monetization. Like, uh, I especially love these names of the game in Russian, just because you would understand that if you're going to go into the Russian market, you have to localize the games. All these games should be in Russian. All these games should have local content, not the global content, but only but also local content. And if you have three big players, like Pavna Klasnik and Free Contact at Mayoru, all top games are totally different. Like, one of the classic social quantum have the farm games, they have the virtual games like uh, simulation or building simulators and so on. That we contact, they have the strategy games, and uh, Moimir have uh, totally different games. So, leaders are different in three social networks. And yes. But enough about the, these just numbers. Let's go about the developers and so on. Most of the companies are single title companies. That's too sad because the, when you start, you when you created a good game in the year 2010 or 2011, uh, most of the companies started to create another game and it's not successful. Well, it's pretty much similar that. Uh, in many cases, there's companies of two or three guys, like or maybe ten guys, and the second game is not successful. And they're trying hard to recreate the game as should be profitable, and they lost all their money. And many companies left with only one title. Like I can mention, uh, Big Sonic have only one title, one of the big, big company, uh, big studio in uh, Russia also. Uh, uh, called Dreamy also have one strong title, but uh, in fact it's only one successful title, unfortunately. And uh, taking this into account, 10% of developers have huge amount of market share, more than 90%. Well, genres is already everything you want. In, there's no matter of the region. If it's Russia, Asia, or Facebook in the US or in Brazil, or in Africa, well, there's everything on the platform. I mean, it's RPG, MMOs, strategy games, whatever you want. Even Sims is on social networks. So, but uh, the problem is that there's tight competition in these genres. We have uh, approximately 30 or 40 poker games, which is incredibly much for these. This, big amount of the users, but whatever, you have the only, if, if you have 40 poker games, that's just too much, and we have incredibly big amount of the farm games, we have incredibly big amount of the city building games, so it's a very tight competition between the genres. And if you're developing farm game, you have to, you have to have a huge belief in your success and a huge amount of money for advertising and for the future updates. And what also what's interesting, the era of gambling is coming. It's not coming, it's already here. So casino games, slot machines, they are popular in every platform. Is it the App Store or Google Play or Odna Klasniki or Facebook, the stop grossing. And what I cannot really understand it because people just cannot give cannot earn anything, they're just spending. Well, this is the topics uh, I would love to tell a bit more. I met many companies right, right here in Seattle last year and this year also. And we had a talk about that, well, we are just not prepared for the Russian market. We have to think about the strategy. We have to rethink about our resources and so on. Well, while I'm talking right now here, there are free copies of Zynga's Empires and Allies coming on local networks. And why I was talking this sentence, it pretty much this, maybe the four games is cloned. But uh, the problem of copycats is not, it's not new in the industry. Uh, the gaming industry, like in casual, is just survived this era, so it's not something new. But if you're in the, in, in the region, when things changed very fast, you have to act fast. And if you're successful on the Facebook, on any other platform, 
think about the going with the same title on local networks. Just even if you are not going, games, your games will be there, but without you. Uh, we have four major players, Social Quantum, Mail.True, Crazy Panda, and Plarium. And it's too difficult to compete with them because every single leader focuses on special genres. Like Plarium is incredibly successful on the strategy games. And the Social Quantum is incredibly successful on the farm games, on the virtual... Well, something is... I don't know. Also, talking about these uh, companies, like Social Quantum is, a, is great on the farm games, and the Plarium is great on the strategy games, and the Crazy Panda is great on the uh, poker games. So we also have Slot Slotomania started the Zonk and the Slotomania on our, exactly on Adna Klasniki social network. And these companies are, have huge success on the on the genres and the niche, so it's quite difficult to compete with them. And also game IP is uh, well known to the gamers. And when the Social Quantum introduced the game IP called Megapolis, like city building game on the iPhones and on the iOS devices, uh, it's pretty much pretty fast. This game became a number one game on local network, uh, on, on, on local region on the iOS. So, and there's a high loyalty of players. So if you're going into the same genre in the same game, like just another city builder, be prepared that it will be very tight competition between the leader and between you. So your game should be really triple A class at least. Let's continue with the challenges. Well, as at the gaming conference, and we are talking about the region which is full of surprises, I would love to play a game, a little, a, uh, a little game with you. I have 50 bucks. That is real bucks. It's not a clone or something else. I just take them from the ATM recently. I'm selling this 50 bucks to anyone who is just sending, taking me, uh, telling me amount you are ready to pay for. It's an auction, so you are saying like I'm buying this 50 bucks for one dollar. Okay, great. And bid is one US dollar, and uh, there's just two rules, just two simple rules. First rule, if you win, you pay. Like we're all gentlemen and ladies right here, so we're paying. And the second rule is all pretty simple. If you're second, you also pay. So let's start the auction. Who's ready? Gentlemen, five bucks. Ten bucks or six bucks? How much? <laughs> okay, six. Ten bucks from the guy right there. Do we have something to... You're going to give away ten bucks? Fifty bucks for ten bucks? Eleven. Eleven, yeah? Fifteen bucks. Great. Whoa, gentlemen just got twenty bucks for fifty bucks. Twenty-eight? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a pretty good deal, in fact. I'm surprised that you're not acting quite good. Anyone else? 30 bucks. 30 bucks from the guy right there. Anyone else? 31, 31 bucks. 32. 32. 33. 33. I think we should start if we continue with the two bucks. <laughs> 35. 35. Gentleman wants that 50 bucks. 45. Exactly. 35. 45. 45. Great. <laughs> 49. That's incredible bit. Anyone else? <laughs> 51. The guy is buying 50 bucks for 51. I think he deserves applause at least. <laughs> so, anyone else? I think, guys, as we have two winners, we'd have. 
<laughs> I don't know how much this is in the US dollar. <laughs> so I think again, we have two winners, like guy from right and it was like 39, I suppose, from you. Just come on. I think the guys deserve at least applause. Of course, of course. <laughs> As I said, we're all some gentlemen, so we have to follow the rules. So it's not a problem. No, it's not a fake. As I said. <laughs> so you owe me one bucks, one, one, one US dollar. So okay. great. And the gentleman right there. I would also like you. Just don't go away. Stay a bit, a, a bit off. We'll continue with the text and so on. Oh, but that's an incredible deal. 51 bucks for 50. It's, I've, never, I've, I've never imagined that that could done so hard. Oh, well, let's give a bit of applause to the guys. That was incredible. <laughs> yep, the deal is deal. Guys, money here. And uh, what was the best strategy for this game, in fact? Just a little bit of, what was the best strategy? Do you know the best strategy? Well, if you are going into this battle, be sure that you are the number one. That's whatever, if you're just number two, you don't have any prize at all. You're number two without any prize, or you're just losing your money. In fact, the number one also lost his money. He paid one, one US dollar more than I already just to give him. And if you are fighting against the Zynga on the Facebook, think twice, can you fight against the Zynga on the Facebook? They are the number one, already on number one. If you are going to be the number two, you have to spend a lot of money. You have to acquire a lot of users. Think about the other social networks around the world with a huge amount of users, huge amount of uh, about these users who are willing to pay. And right now, there's many developers from the US also became uh, developers for the local social networks like Playdom and the Nordeals and Digital Chocolate. And if you're thinking about the missed opportunity, think twice. It's still growing. You still have the opportunity to be the one, number one. Yeah, there's no Zynga in Russia. You can be number one. And uh, just to mention that uh, Russia is an incredibly interesting market without full of surprise. I think the guys deserved at least not only applause, but also brand new iPads. So thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Well, yeah, you can go. <laughs> uh, about the mobile. Mobiles also, they're not incoming. They're the huge part of gaming right now. And uh, it's pretty much the same on the local network also. L uh, local market uh, have a lot, uh, had a lot to do to, with penetration, with uh, iOS penetration and the Android penetration. Right now we have only 80% of, uh, of so-called feature phones in Russia. So think about the also about the HTML5 games, not only the web games, not only iOS games, and not only on the Google Play. And don't forget about if you're switching from the web development to uh, mobile development, think twice again. Just, there's so much people who are still using this PC who is crashed today and, and the Macs for the web games. They still want the, your game. e-commerce and the in on local social networks, evolution of advertising, and of course the local social networks are fighting for audience, are fighting for the developers. They're producing new API methods, they're producing uh, retention, uh, they're producing the most effective viral channels and the better documentation, so on. So this is the good news for developers, at least for you. And yes, this market is huge. Is still growing, and it has enormous potential. People pay, people want to pay, but they want to pay for the good games. 
So, thank you. And that's again. <laughs> Questions? Anybody? Oh. <laughs> that's not the question. Yeah. Um, is that a Twitter handle on the, the second line there? Uh, yeah, it's a hashtag of Podnoklasniki. Okay. Yes. Could you speak a little bit about um, breaking into the Russian market from the U.S. or English-speaking countries and, and the differences in, in language and just being able to communicate to that market as, a, as an outsider? Uh -huh. yes, the question was about the breaking into the market and speaking uh, with the local audience, uh, with the local people. Well, as I mentioned, we, you, you, you have to provide localization. That's for sure. 60% of Russian-speaking people know English, so it's pretty small audience for you. And if you want to be successful, you have to provide local. Like, in example, game Army Attack of uh, Digital Chocolate, there's a just game when the blue guys fighting against the red guys. It just doesn't work in Russia just because the red guys, red army, is in Russia. You cannot fight against the red army, just you will lose. So this is the small local things that you have to think about. Well, thank you again.